Manchester United nil, Wolves won, and you know I'm gonna look into each and every one of you when I say this. Manchester United fans, football fans, in general, how many times are we gonna let this happen? How many times is this club going to go and hit rock bottom? How many times is this club going to go on a supposed rebuild and tell everybody keep the faith trust the process before we all finally realize who the true problem is cm's gonna touch on that a little later in a bit but how many times are we gonna be fooled are we gonna be led astray lied to by the people at the top probably by the players as well because some of these post-match press conferences that i'm seeing some of these social media posts that I'm seeing are not reflecting the attitude that should be displayed on the football pitch. And quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm absolutely sick and tired of seeing this week in, week out. The basics of football. The, I could go on a football pitch right now, Sunday league, with all the other players there as well doing the same exact thing and they know how to pass the ball and the tactics aren't even as complicated as they are in a professional game. We could do that. So what is stopping these guys from having the basic football intelligence, IQ? Are you telling me that because you don't know how to play in a system, you don't know how to pass the football five yards? You don't know, you do not know how to keep possession of the ball. You do not have the IQ to know how to pass and move, how to move into a position of space so that when you receive the ball, you won't have instant pressure going onto you. So you have more of a chance of keeping the ball. Are you telling me that you do not have the basics of football down you need to be coached at the professional level the basics of football maybe the manager has different ideas to implement oh i hope ralph rangnick <laughs> based off yesterday i don't know if he does but i am hoping i'm praying no i've lost hope i'm just praying that ralph rangnick really does have the ideas because i do not believe I've lost hope. I've lost hope in this squad. I've lost hope in this club, Manchester United. I've lost hope completely. It's and once in. again, big up everybody. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new because I know you guys are frustrated, as frustrated as I am too. Enough is enough. CM, where do we start? What has happened to the football club that we love? The club that we decide to watch week in, week out. This has been the busiest period of the year. The busiest footballing period of the year on the calendar. And we have done nothing but come up short. We may have won against Norwich. But the result has been coming. This kind of result has been coming since that game. Since Norwich played us off the park and then Newcastle played us off the park and now Wolves come here with their technical ability on show played us off the park again were physically dominant knew how to keep the ball defended us well did everything that you would expect from a Manchester United squad. The basics of what you expect from a Manchester United team. Wolves came to Old Trafford and did all of that. <laughs> yeah? And let's speak about another basic of football. Considering that you are a professional footballer, you get paid to do the job that you love. Are you telling me, CM, are you telling me that you cannot come out and uh, as a basic, as a basic, come out and show some personal pride? 
some team pride. Forget team actually, because those guys, they're not together. They're not together. They don't play together as a team. But where is your personal pride as a football player, as a professional football player that is on live television? Where is your personal pride to succeed? It's disappeared. It's gone. It's a disgrace. All of the players, all of the coaching staff, all of the board members, this is on you. This is on you because time and time again, you create an environment that that celebrates mediocrity. Manchester United Football Club celebrating mediocrity, celebrating finishing second in the season, celebrating finishing as runners up in a cup competition. That is the height of mediocrity. And in fact, it may even be below that. Celebrating losing. And one thing we do have to do as well today is question Ralph Rangnick's approach. Because the last two games were nothing like what we have been told his system is like. You, Ralph Rangnick, have a lot of work to do with these players and I'm not saying this all on you because the players must be questioned too and I've just done that but now it's over to you we I'm not saying I want to see everything perfect in this team in this lineup that is impossible with the kind of players we have but where are the signs that we are heading somewhere the problem that has been in the previous regimes, the previous managers, is that at a certain point, we've lost direction completely. We didn't know where we were going. And that's why they had to go. And now we're here. We saw good football for 30 minutes in his first game against Crystal Palace. And since then, we have seen nothing. Zilch. And the results aren't coming either. Top four, whoo! That's gonna be an uphill battle. The way we're playing right now, you can as good as just forget it. Where is the direction, Ralph Rangnick? Where is the direction, CM? Because I don't see it. And that is the scariest part of looking at this Manchester United team right now. We are going nowhere but down, down. The trajectory is down. Fans groaning at the stadium, singing attack, 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 attack. We are back at rock bottom once again, CM. And you just needed to listen to the fans in Old Trafford to realise that. This, this result is tough to process. And even though we've had some time and we've given ourselves some time to think about what's gone wrong. You know, what is the problem at Manchester United Football Club? There is still so many things to speak about so many things to think about at that that it's not a clear and obvious issue <laughs> you know i'm using that var terminology nothing at manchester united football club is clear and obvious nope and that is the real problem there are so many issues at manchester united football club that I honestly do not know where to start, what to start with. <sighs> I look at the game yesterday, like Cappy said, the basics weren't there. It, it, it wasn't there at all. Nothing was there. There was no passion. There was no desire. There was no pride. And I think about it this way. When somebody's showing that they don't even have the pride to try their best in a situation, to me, that's a mentality thing. That's a confidence gone thing, shattered, out of the way, 
finished. And that's the biggest problem for me. That is the biggest problem. I look at these players and I see players who number one don't have good confidence to perform, but they also don't have the drive to perform at the highest level either. Even our best players, even some of our fan favorites, they've lost it. They've absolutely lost it. And we've seen it happen to players in the past who've come to this club. Your Memphis Depay's, your Angel Di Maria's, they just adopt that lack of drive, that poor mentality. And then they go into other clubs and do much better because they're in better environments, environments that encourage them to every single day tap into that, that potential, tap into that lion inside of their head that's telling them to go, 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 go. Time and time again, even when you don't want to do something, you have feel, you feel like you have to do it because you know that there is always a level to reach. Our players at Manchester United Football Club don't do that because the culture is set by the board up top. The culture, the mentality, everything is set from there and it filters down. It filters down to the very football club, even the academy players, it filters down. Cappy, you know, we're at rock bottom. Mm -hmm. This club needs a total reset. Just click the reset button, done. Because right now, we are in trouble. The board needs to leave, Glazers, all of those employees below them. Because what we're seeing at this club is, everybody at the top, at some point in these almost 10 years since Sir Alex Ferguson has retired, have been a part of failure after failure, mediocrity after mediocrity. Their mentality, their culture setting, setting features, their culture shocks. Remember that culture shock. What kind of culture shock? If anything, these players are shell-shocked because they don't even know how to play football anymore. This cycle, Cappy, will continue if people from the old, unsuccessful regime stay on. I don't even have my glasses on today. That's the maddest thing because I just feel unprepared. I feel confused. Because even though we have our notes, we have things that we wanted to speak about, this is more so coming from the heart. Because I don't know what direction we are going in as a club. You know, Cappy said it. Where are we? What is the trajectory? Because it looks like we're going down. You talk about having these aims, these objectives are wanting to be somewhere. Players come out and speak about, we know where we're supposed to be. We know how we're supposed to play. We know that we want to win in the dressing room. Then do it. So rubbish, man. You telling me you don't know how to execute playing football, playing well in a football game, exerting your energy on the football pitch, the thing you train for all week. You're telling me you don't know how to do that? They don't. You know, Cappy, and, and big up the fans, everybody watching, drop a like and subscribe if you need. We will have to travel to pitch black darkness to be able to see the light again. And that, even I don't know when is that going to happen. I do not know when that is going to happen. Because as long as the people at the top stay on, and continue to possess these, these negative features and just spray them around the club like toxins. We will never be successful as long as we talk, as long as we live, as long as they are here. We will not be a successful football club to the extent that we were under Sir Alex Ferguson in that whole era. We will never, ever, 
be successful under these people because they promote mediocrity. They, they celebrate losing. That is unacceptable. That should never be the case for a club like Manchester United. We only succeed. We only celebrate success. We so only celebrate winning. And right now, we're coming to the point where us as fans are being ridiculed because we're complaining. Complaining. We care about this football club. We care about the welfare of this football club. We know the football club will make money. That is Manchester United. Football club as a whole. That is what Sir Alex built. A club based on not just success on the pitch, but off of it. But right now, all of these guys at the top who are focusing on making these deals, making these money deals, controlling the media, making stories that, you know, heighten their relevance each and every time throughout the football season and in the summer. They fail to realise that the true success a football club can see is on the pitch. And these guys do not care about it. They see achievements, <laughs> achievements. They see finishing in second place as an achievement for Man United. They see being runners up in a cup final as an achievement for Manchester United. And that is where we are. Mediocrity FC, welcome to the club. Everybody who joins, you know what? Uh, half of my mind are even saying, what's the point of signing players to this club at this point? Because they're just going to join the club. They might, they might have a few months of a bounce. And then once they realise what this club is about, once they get connected with the culture of this club, the mentality of the rest of the players, the coaches, the board and everybody involved, they're just going to end up how everybody else has in the past and the present. Without drive without passion, without hunger, without desire, without pride, personal pride. Let that sink in people. When you lose pride, you lose yourself. Manchester United has lost pride. <sighs> These quick fixes, it's not gonna work. It's not, it's going to be a long term rebuild, but that rebuild, supposed rebuild that we're always promised, it's not happening, it ain't happening, and it's not going to happen anytime soon. So, right now, where do we go from here? I don't know. All we can do as fans is pray that we get results and we can finish in the top four, but I look at that summer and I see danger. Danger signs all over. It could be a max exodus, losing some of our top players, some of our crucial, or who we see as our crucial players. They could be all gone in the summer. A lot of players could be gone. And then where does that leave us? Who really wants to side for Manchester United at this moment of time? Because if I was a player, and I analyse the situation, I don't care about money. And you know, the reality is a lot of these players do care about the money they are making in the end of the day. And the Man United board is stupid enough to throw unlimited wages at any kind of player without them having to prove a single thing. But if I was a player and I analysed the situation deeply at Manchester United, now I would realise that this club is not where I want to be, young or old. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in a place of instability. I don't want to be in a place where your energy gets zapped out every time you enter and leave. I don't want to be in a place that celebrates mediocrity. I want to be in a place of winning. A place that pushes you to be your best every single day, training, on the field of play. I don't want to be at Manchester United. They are everything a football player detests. A successful manager detests. 
everything that the fans are seeing, we are ridiculed for being overreactors, for being people that don't know the tricks of the trade, doesn't know what really is going on. So how, how about all you experts? Tell us what's really going on at Manchester United. Because we'd really like to know. And if there's anything different from what we've all been saying as a fan base, then make it make sense. Everybody, big up yourself. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new here. And in the comments, let us know where do you think Manchester United is going to be in the next two years? If you look at this Wolves result and you look at the past few results and then put yourself into the future as a Manchester United fan, where do you see Manchester United be? Honestly. Peace. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.